and um, Herschel. And so, how long have you had this farm here? Since 1970. In this location? Yeah. Well, when y'all when the tornado hit that night, were you at home? Yeah. What? How would you recall that night? What happened that night? Well, <laughs> we we was that you know we all of our, a lot of our neighbors was here. At your house. And yeah, and we was you know watching the the weather on the satellite on television, you know, uh -huh. the radar. Uh -huh. And uh, there was, you know, they, we heard it helicon, you know, about an hour and a half before it come here. Right. And we, Linda, and about two-thirds of them went on down to the basement. Yeah. And there's few of us <laughs> still upstairs watching it. Wow. And we heard that it'd be at Neesmith in about 20, two or three minutes, yeah. and then we heard 17 minutes, and we still watch. <laughs> and then uh, we heard it be at Neesmith in about six or seven minutes. It was coming up 66. Wow. So we all went to the base. How would you recall? And Did it sound bad? Or? No, it just made a woof only about a thousand times that louder. Yeah, like a and boom. that was all it was to it. We didn't hear a roar of a train like I've heard. Did you hear the breeze? Yeah, when we, we went out to the back uh, basement door, and you could hear tin still rattling. Well, my goodness. It, the trees had a lot of tin. And, right. and well, tell me what type of damage it did. I know it took the roof uh, off. How many chicken houses do you have? It was down, starting here, you know, all the way across yonder. Which way did that thing travel? I can't figure it out. It comes straight across here, kind of up through yonder. Tell a little bit about what we got uh, tore up here uh, on the farm. I'll explain to you a little bit about what's going on today. Uh, uh, first of all, as far as what happened, November, I guess it was 29th, a Tuesday evening, tornado passed through our area. Um, and as far as um, what we lost here on the farm, um, mainly uh, what we lost, um, trees, fences, a um, few pieces of metal here and there. Um, but what we did gather is we gathered a lot of debris and other things from, you know, people's pastures or from people's homes and people's barns and things like that. So there's still a lot for us to clean up here. Um, we're looking at some of the trees and debris that we have across the, the way here, across the pasture. Um, as you can tell, about um, probably probably a mile of fencing that we have tore down here on the farm. Um, we've started building this back, started gathering up some of these trees and some of these logs. Um, but this is a very, very difficult uh, process for us, a very difficult thing that's happened here in our community. You know, I, I will say that we've been blessed. Uh, the good Lord watched over us. Uh, fences and all this sort of stuff is replaceable, uh, but people's lives isn't. And, uh, you know, we're thankful here in this community of Helican that, you know, nobody's life was took, nobody was injured. Um, it's just a bunch of material things, but all of this can be fixed. All of it can be replaced. 